Hello math learners. It's Mr. Marks here, your friendly neighborhood math teacher. Remember, it's not just about getting the right answers. It's about learning and growing along the way. So why don't we dive right in? First, let's read the problem's instructions. Which equation correctly shows that open parentheses x squared close parentheses raised to the fourth power equals x raised to the eighth power? You may have noticed that I stated the parentheses out loud. That's because they're an important part of this and many problems. We have always got to be mindful of them. Before we go looking at our possible answers, I say we clarify what it actually means to raise something to the power of something. Here, I have a smiley raised to some number. And what this means is, I will take that smiley and multiply it by itself over and over and over some number of times. So smiley raised to the third power is just smiley times smiley times smiley, three total times. Hey, let's use this knowledge to wrap our heads around this problem. Here, our smiley is the parentheses and everything inside. We have this grouping here in parentheses, which is all raised to the fourth power. So we will multiply this group by itself four total times. Hey, now we're getting somewhere. Now let's unpack what's inside these parentheses x raised to the 2 power. How else can this be written? Well, what does x raised to the 2 mean? It means we can multiply x by itself twice, or x times x. With this knowledge, we can replace every x raised to the 2 power with x times x. Because we're only multiplying x's here, we no longer need these parentheses. Without our parentheses, we have x multiplied by x. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven, eight times. In math shorthand, we write that as x raised to the eight power. Wow, by carefully observing, noting, and reasoning, we can now see that the answer is D. This is fantastic, but let's challenge ourselves further. Can you figure out what errors somebody would have to make in order to select A as their answer mistakenly? What about B or C? I hope you choose to challenge yourself by wrapping your head around some of these potential errors. Leave a comment with your thoughts and bonus if you can recognize all three. Hey, props to you for taking some time out of your day to do some math with me. I hope that you follow along and if you made mistakes, that is all good. Remember that every mistake is a step towards learning something new. This is Mr. Mark signing off. What did you think? Did you approach this problem differently? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this problem, show your support by liking and sharing this video. And don't forget to follow my page to stay up to date on more math related content. Until next time, 